2 Peter 3 verse 11 Since all these things are to be thus dissolved, what kind of persons ought you to be in holy manner of life and godliness? When we enjoy the divine nature, we mainly enjoy God as spirit, love, and light because these are the three main constituents of the divine nature. Spirit is the nature of God's person, love is the nature of God's essence, and light is the nature of God's expression. To partake of the divine nature is to partake of the divine spirit, the divine love, and the divine light. When we touch the spirit, this issues in the person of God. When we touch God as the super, nobler, and higher love, the issue is that we are made distinct and different. Human society has been darkened by sin. In this respect, everyone in the human race is basically the same. When someone gets saved, however, and they contact the Lord daily, remaining in the fellowship and cooperating with the inward divine operation, they are filled with God as love. This inward love makes them different. They become distinct in their school, in their homes, and among their relatives, colleagues, and classmates. In Peter's second epistle we also see love in holiness. Love is the ultimate development of the divine nature. Holiness is the manner of the life partaking of the divine nature. Love issues in holiness. When you partake of the divine nature to the uttermost, you will be filled with God as love. This issues in a manner of life, and this manner of life is a separated and distinct life, making you no more common but holy. Holiness is the manner of this life that enjoys the divine nature to the uttermost. When we enjoy God as love, we even become love, and this issues in holiness. Holiness is the manner. The divine love sanctifies us, separates us, and makes us different. We are a people who are so holy, so golden. We are no longer pieces of clay but pieces of gold, and when we come together, all the pieces put together become a golden lampstand, bearing a testimony of the golden Jesus. This is the central lane, the central thought, of Peter's writing. Praise the Lord!